Right, hello everyone. Um, today's video is about the small modifications and the small touches that I've made to the van, which actually make quite a big difference. Um, anyone that's got a T5 transporter, or it doesn't even have to be a T5 transporter, you could have a T4 or a T3 or a T25, T6, T6.1. <laughs> the list never ends. I'm just going to start saying from now on, anybody that's got a transporter, which even if it's not a camper and you're going to make it a camper, these things you need in your van, right? <laughs> okay, so the first thing I would say you would need definitely some wind deflectors. Now, when you're staying in your van, these are an absolute godsend. You can let um, condensation in or out of your van. Not really condensation, but you know what I mean. Um, it stops condensation. So if you need some like, airflow, but you don't want the van to look like the windows are open from the outside, all you do is let the, the windows down a tad and that will let all the fresh air in. Um, you can get a good set of these from anything from about 20 pounds to about 35 pounds. Um, I can't remember what my one costs, but I'll put a link in the description. So that's one modification I can highly recommend. And also, they do make the van look really, really good from the outside. So that's that. Now, the second modification um, that I can highly recommend are these um, storage nets. Now, I've got two in the back. I've got one either side of my rock and roll bed. Uh, it is so dark in here at the minute. I've turned the lights on, but the clouds are now grey and the rain's coming down, so it's really hard to see. Um, so yeah, these are absolutely quality. And I'll tell you why. When you're sleeping in your van, you can put your keys in here, you can put your, um, I don't know, your, your false teeth, <laughs> if you've got false teeth. That's the first thing that comes to my head. I ain't got false teeth, but yeah, you can put them in there if you really need to. <laughs> um, you can put your keys, yeah, your, your wallet, everything. And basically, the reason why I've got these is because when I'm sleeping in bed at night, before I had these, um, these nets, basically what was happening, all my stuff was falling down the side of the bed and then I've got to get out of bed, put the bed back up, then dive under the bed to find it. And all of that aggravation, for the sake of uh, 10, 15 quid, you can get really cheaper ones if you need them and also bigger ones. Um, I just thought it was just worth getting. So yeah, they look good as well. They look nice. These ones have got um, screw screw cap covers on them as well. And at the minute, I've just got my carbon monoxide detector hanging in there because that's just a little safety feature. But that's something which you should all have. I haven't found a place where to screw it yet, but that's something else I need to do. So at the minute, it is just inside my storage net. And now the third thing, which will come really in handy as well, if you are camping, are these sponges. These little bad boys here are basically amazing because when condensation does build up on your windscreen or windows, either in the back or the front, these literally will take all the moisture away. Um, they're two-sided. I don't know quite what the yellow means or the blue. I think it's just for aesthetic purposes. They cost about a fiver. I've got two of them. Um, so yeah, one basically sits in the front and one sits in the back. Perfect for those days you wake up and you have some condensation on your windscreens. Um, so yeah. And to not drag it all on today, um, the last thing I can recommend, as I've already done a video about these, are definitely the cab divider curtains. They are amazing. Like, you don't want anyone looking in your van when you're asleep. Like for me, I, it's just one of those things. I need privacy, I wanna shut my curtains and go to bed. I don't need peering eyes <laughs> coming through. So yeah, get yourself some of these cab curtains. They are amazing. Um, depending on how many windows you have, you might have uh, a tailgate like mine. I've put some on the, on the rear tailgate. I've put some on the two side windows, but definitely the cab divider. Uh, I know some of you might even, um, might even have only one window in your van so yeah just get get yourself some cab divider curtains they literally just pull across let me undo the little uh, catch again with one hand one second please bear with me right there you go slides across like that and then the other side will do exactly the same um, I'm not going to show you the full process because I've already documented that in my ch in, <laughs> in my channel um, so yeah just look at my other videos for that um, but on another note, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. Give me a like, comment. Um, like I say, always, if you've got any ideas or other suggestions, just let me know. Cheers.